Ghanaians play their old songs at events, parties, wherever. Nigerians have failed on that bit. Nigerians have failed on that bit. Ghanaians play their old songs at their events, party, Independence Day celebrations. Nigerians have failed on that bit. Well, that is quite interesting, especially coming from Adeshope and him, you know, basically stating that Nigerians have failed on that bit. Well, I am here to give a brief editorial. I'm not going to keep long. If you go to a Nigerian party or a Nigerian club, very rarely does the DJ play music from 2002 mm. or 2001. A lot of the young entertainers today, not only the fan base, don't even know who the remedies are. Mm. Don't know about Paul Play. Don't know about Tony Tetula. Mm. Don't know about Plantation Boys. And if not Two Face collaborating with a lot of people and still active, a lot of the young fans will not have the respect they're supposed to have for those generations and what they did. Mm. And a lot of responsibility falls on the table mm. for some of these DJs because they just want to play what's hot now and what can get people excited. Mm. Flip it to the Ghanaian side. I went for the Ghanaian Independence Party yeah. in, in London. Shout out to Aquaba, Fifi, you know, Skeggs, Nori, the whole team. Mm. And when I was in there, I just stopped for like 45 minutes and I was looking around. I'm seeing young people from the ages of like 21 to people in their 40s and every old school Ghana song that dropped word for word. Oh my. We're coming me, Choma, and her name is Abachuku. Emma with TJ Studios. Keep watching TJ Studios. Lovely day, right here on TJ Studios. I salute you all and I welcome you to today's session. Lovely week, right? Before we go deep down into activities for the day, let me share with you a Bible verse, all right? In the book of Songs of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 1, the Bible says, He is the rose of Sharon and the lily of the valley. God is the rose of Sharon. He flows like a river. He flows like a valley. As such, God's purpose and presence will be felt in your life like the flow of a river. Okay, let's move on. To today's edition, all right, on the bill today. Well, I saw something on the waves <clears throat> and I decided to touch on it in relation to today's exclusive. And it's quite interesting from Nigerian, you know, Afrobeat podcast, you know, YouTuber as well, who mostly focuses on the Afrobeat genre and other, you know, rhythms in the African region. Had a sit down interview with Kojo Sheldon, another Ghanaian YouTuber. All right, and they discuss, you know, the African music industry in totality. Now, this is what Adesope said, or she's, he basically shared one or two, and this one amuses me a bit. Ghanaians play their old songs at events, parties, wherever. Nigerians have failed on that bit. Nigerians have failed on that bit. Ghanaians play their old songs at their events, party, Independence Day celebrations. Nigerians have failed on that bit. Well, that is quite interesting, especially coming from Adeshope and him, you know, basically stating that Nigerians have failed on that bit. Well, I am here to give a brief editorial. I'm not going to keep long about this whole issue, you know. If you go to a Nigerian party or a Nigerian club, very rarely does the DJ play music from 2002 mm. or 2001. A lot of the young entertainers today, not only the fan base, don't even know who the remedies are. Mm. Don't know about Paul Play. Don't know about Tony Tetula. Mm. Don't know about Plantation Boys. And if not Two Face collaborating with a lot of people and still active, a lot of the young fans will not have the respect they're supposed to have for those generations and what they did. Mm. And a lot of responsibility falls on the table mm. for some of these DJs because they just want to play what's hot now and what can get people excited. Mm. Flip it to the Ghanaian side. I went for the Ghanaian Independence Party yeah. in, in London. Shout out to Aquaba, Fifi, you know, Skeggs, Nori, the whole team. Mm. And when I was in there, I just stopped for like 45 minutes and I was looking around. I'm seeing young people from the ages of like 21 
to people in their 40s and every old school Ghana song that dropped word for word oh my god <laughs> I can tell you oh my god we know we know oh, we know man, no. I had I had goosebumps yes I was in the crowd yeah. looking around and thinking to myself how did Nigeria fail the young generation of fans mm. how mm. these a lot of the people that were in that room were born and raised in the UK Gen Z's but if you play anything mm. from 20 years ago anything I'm sing it they are singing it word for word you know why mm. when you go to a Ghanaian party it is part of the DNA of the DJ yes to go back 20 30 years and play some of the big records it's mm. part of the culture mm. it's not even about oh they just want to play Kweku Killer now or they want to play King Promise now no they're going to go back to um, you know Amache Dede mm. to, they're going to go back yes. Kojo Antu, they're going to mm. go back yes. and that's where education starts where I disagree with Adeshope with Ghanaians I don't have a problem when there is a Ghanaian gathering any party any independent celebration whatever and they decide to play old songs. I don't have a problem with that. The only problem I have with Adoshi Pace, you know, revelation is saying Nigerians have failed on that part. All right. Now, Adoshi Pace, you should know, basically, I am being gentle because you are a senior bro. I'm just facing the fact. You should know that, you know, even our A-list artists are a few in Ghana. We don't have a lot of musicians who are A-list. We only have the likes of Stoneboy, Shatawale, and then, yeah, Sarkodie too. You, you get it. These are our three best exports. And then we have others like Kwame Eugene, Kidi, and then to an extent, Ken Promise. So these are the most, should I say the biggest artists relatively to me in Ghana. The others are there, but they are not, they are not as relevant and as big as them. All right. Now, when you go to Nigeria, the majority of A-list artists there. A-list, you can mention Hello, you can mention Burner Boy, you can mention The Vido, you can mention Ashake, you can mention Whiskey. The list goes on and on. Even in the female side, you get it recently. We have a lot of them to our bill with the female side. You get it. We have a lot of them to our bill. You get it. Ira Star, Thames, you get it. You know, the, the legends like Tiwa Savage, Yemi Alade, these are all there. They are all there doing their thing. You get it. So Nigerians have majority and many artists to their belt. And then they relatively release a lot of songs. So Nigeria's playlist can even, you know, add up to the party or a party celebration or any other celebration because they have a lot of hit songs. They have a lot of songs playlist. We've not even majored on B-list artists and C-list artists who in Ghana will be major artists. B-list artists in Nigeria in Ghana will be major artists in Ghana. I'm facing the fact here. So when you put down a playlist, you put together a playlist of Ghanaian songs at an event, be it a party, you know, Ghanaian gathering or Independence Day, which you said, you attended Ghana's Independence Day celebration and you are amazed as to how Ghanaians were given back to back of their old song. It is because when you put together a playlist of Ghanaian artists, all right, there are few. You can have only few hit songs. You play it back to back and you are done. You are finished. So all you can do is to go back and then retrieve VIPs at home, Kawum, take tax for FNF and old songs to add up to your playlist to get many songs to get a lot of songs, all right, which can go along with the event, all right, and then probably add up to the event till they are done with the activities. You get it? So the diff that is the difference between Ghana and Nigeria. On the other hand, even before the DJ at a Nigerian gathering will be done playing A-list to B-list artists, let's major on that, in a Nigerian music space, the event would have been done because they have massive, many, many tracks. You mentioned, I know you mentioned, you know, they don't play at the gathering old P Square songs, old Two Face CDPR songs. Why? Because even the current generation, the kind of songs they have produced within the year, all right, in review, the year they have been around. There are many and are plenty to the extent that 
you get it you you can have a lot of them and then even add a b-list artist currently to it and it will basically be sufficient for the event that is basically going on so that is the difference between us and them we can decide to play our a-list and then even our b-list artist and then add it to the catalog of songs to be played at the event and you will find out that <laughs> it will not be su sufficient it will not be sufficient for the occasion so the best thing these djs who are smart the best thing they do is to add up old you know playlist songs to the event all right to serve as a self or a sufficient you know bail for the day <laughs> unlike nigeria where you have majority there are a lot of artists look at the majority of nigerian artists in the country all right i'm even majoring on the a list and the b list artist not to talk of the c list artist and then the d list artist you get it so majority of hit song quality songs are in the nigerian region that you cannot even finish playing it not to talk of going back to old songs i'm not in any way saying that the old songs are not relevant and as such if these djs play it at any gathering the youth will not dance to it automatically they will you know they will basically jump to it i know all right where you added up saying that you feel this generation will not be abreast with it in a way i feel that is not in the dissect all right it is a different curve when you compare ghana and nigeria nigeria has a biggest and largest population the largest population in africa you get it now as such as such you cannot compare nigeria to ghana in that regard with a number of artists with a number of songs with a number of you know bangers of teams out there all right will be sufficient for an event where well, like unlike unlike us whereas unlike us basically you find and you struggle to play all the artists the a-list and b-list artists all right because the because of the you know the number and the population we have few artists you get it you get it we can talk of how our songs are not global yet our songs are not relevant out there yet our artists are not dominant they are not popular out there yet that is a topic a different topic for another day for another discussion but i'm majoring on the songs you heard at a ghanian event ghanian playlist wherever as in comparing it to nigerians and saying they have failed they have not failed if they are playing songs back to back songs of this current generation which will be sufficient for the occasion and many of them trust me we can decide to put and do another podcast and decide go verbatim about 50 to 100 nigerian songs current songs and we might even surpass the 100 bill go around 200 and compare it to even 50 ghanian songs and 100 ghanian songs you find out that even among the 100 you would have to make certain old songs to the bill you get it so that is the basically the difference between you know ghana and nigeria they have a lot to choose from they have plenty of songs to choose from even even within this current generation have decided to they decide to add the old songs then it means that they're going to play two thousand or five thousand songs or am i exaggerating five hundred two thousand songs basically you get it whereas on the other hand we would have to mix our old songs for the dj to spin party and then you know go on and so on and so forth so um we have to research into it we have to put a bit of educative you know substance to it and go into it and compare both that i don't like to do because it's there for us to see we can't i don't like comparing you get it nigeria is on a different stance they are looking at the global world they are, they are doing it massive out there artists are also doing their thing in their own corner i respect them for that like i said if you cannot go global to the extent or to that extent where nigerians have been stay in your lane and do your own thing and that is how i see them so when we are putting playlists together we should look at these factors before we see or basically review or say narrate that nigerians have failed in that bit you get it so this is my opinion about what adeshope said you get it and like you watched the video okay like you watched the video as i was putting together the podcast you watched the video you can clearly understand the fact that well maybe 
it's in a different context and he's speaking his mind. It is up to you to also share your thoughts and share your opinion in line with this editorial, all right? Okay, do 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 same, share your thoughts and then drop your comments in the uh, comment section and let's do this, all right? Okay, I'll be coming your way with another exclusive, you know, today. So wait for it and then, you know, we'll do it. I will share it with you, okay? All right, do well to join the family, subscribe if you are yet to do so. And also don't forget to hit the notification button, which is going to enable you to get notified whenever I post a new video. Call me Emeka Friday, call me Chuku Emeka, and call me Imaswen. I salute you. You're calling me Choma, and her name is Abachuku. Emma, what TJ Studios? Keep watching TJ Studios.